Hey fans or inquisitive folks of Birchbox Man, um, this is a product review, not just an unboxing, of Birchbox Man August. Now I know it's the end of August and it's a little late, but my box didn't get to me before I left town for a couple weeks, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't make that happen beforehand. But just before my next September, September box arrives, I thought I'd do a quick review. So this birch box came with four items in it, and we're just gonna go right down the list and cover these. Um, the first one is actually Jock Soap, Bloody Orange Body Bar. <clears throat> now, as any product review, I actually use these products, so I brought it. This is a partially used one. Um, you can see it's a glycerin-based soap. It's yellow in color. It has a very strong orange scent. Um, it is a good, oh, I got soap on me now. Um, it is a really good bar. Um, I gave a knock to a previous bar because it was um, it was light in color because of hair getting stuck to it. But that one had an exfoliant in it, right? It had some rough stuff in it, so it was grabbing hair and holding on to it. This doesn't. It's a glycerin bar, so everything sloughs off of it. So you don't have anything stuck to it. Um, the benefit is that orange scent, that citrusy scent, is really strong. It doesn't strong that it sits on you. It's actually nice because when you open up your shower, which, ooh, shower. Um, when you open up your shower, you actually get a waft of this orange scent, which is just the bar exuding the smell. So I thought that was a really nice bar. Uh, if you're into glycerin soaps, uh, it doesn't have an exfoliant in it. So, you know, maybe that's not what you're looking for. Uh, maybe you use a loofah and that's your exfoliating, I don't know. But there are your options. So it's a pretty good bar, um, and it's eight bucks if you wanna buy one. Um, next one was chlorine shampoo with quinine and B vitamins. Basically, this is supposed to thin, or help with thinning hair and spur new growth. Now, I have thinning hair. Um, can't believe I just did that. But this is chlorine, it came in this little bottle. Um, I've used it a little bit. Here's the thing, I have no idea if it works, right? Even after I use all this little bottle, I'll have no idea if it works, right? I'm a guy with thinning hair. Um, but I don't think this is enough for you to know. So really, this trial size doesn't tell me anything. So I'm just going on faith that like, well, I tried it, maybe I'll buy a big bottle. I can do that with a lot of things dealing with thinning hair and balding. So as much as I like the idea of including things like this, I wish they would include something where you could see the results. I had the same problem with the whitening um, last month because it just wasn't enough to see results, right? If it's a trial, let the trial size show me what it can do. Um, as far as the shampoo goes, it has a lovely little scent. Um, it's very nice, it's quite floral. Um, and I actually use it just on the thinning areas and then I use a different shampoo for other areas. Um, so a pleasant shampoo, but once again, I have no idea whether it works. It just says it works for thinning and has some stuff in it, but uh, it results, right? I want to see results and this trial size won't give it to me. Uh, what else we got? I'm trying to move these quickly since it's so late. Um, the next is, oh, Kiehl's Brushless Shave Cream, uh, White Eagle. Um, so here it is. Um, this is their, um, <clears throat> their shave cream. Now, um, what's kind of interesting, it's a cream, right? It's, it looks like lotion when it comes out. You're not gonna be able to see that. So it's a cream, you rub that in um, and you get that all over. So on the negative side, it takes a lot of cream to actually cover your face, right? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't go a long way. Um, on the plus side, it has a menthol set. Now that might be a bad thing for you, menthol, right? Think, think medicine, it's very medicine-y. Uh, but if it's morning and you have trouble waking up in the morning, you go to shave in the morning and you put on some menthol shave cream, I'm telling you, you'll wake right up. So uh, in that sense, it's pretty good. Like most creams, what it's really great at is gathering up all the shaved hairs and sticking them down the sink, right? So you don't end up everywhere. They're not kind of sloughed off and loose. The cream actually grabs them all really tightly so that when you rinse that off, it just sort of comes off um, without, you know, without a lot of, um, I don't know, excess. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, when you shave it goes everywhere. Let's not be, let's be realistic. But it does really gather it up. I also found that the shave was very close. Um, I have, I've had that benefit of creams before where the shave ended up being really close um, because of what it was able to do. So um, 
I'm not a super fan of the menthol, I don't have a problem waking up in the morning, but I did get used to it after a couple uses, and then I didn't mind it so much. Um, but it did give me a really close shave. But unlike previous shaving products, um, it doesn't last very long. I believe the larger size, which I happen to have, yeah, this is what the larger size looks like. So this is what the so this is the first time I get to do this comparison. Here is the trial size, here's the size you buy. This one you buy is $16. This is the trial size. Um, so this gives you a, a good indication of kind of what you're getting. Um, so there's obviously a lot more. I don't know how long it'll last though. Um, to give you another example, this is a previous month's. This is a previous month's shave cream. This is what I got in the trial size. This is what I got when I bought, uh, I actually bought some. Exact same size. Uh, and it goes a long way. All right. Very last iron item is Barking Irons Brando Cut T-shirt. Hey, look, I'm wearing it. So this one is an extra large. Now I'm 6'3", 245, um, wide build. Um, and this is an extra large on me. This is kind of a good fit. Like I like this, right? It's good cut. What they have designed is they're talking about the, the way the sleeves are cut. Right? You can see where the line is here and how the sleeves are cut. Also, you'll notice, you might not be able to see this, but on the sides here, I'll show you in a different shirt. Um, on the sides, it's sort of, oops, let's go on this side. It's got like a um, kind of inseam cut, right? It, it comes up on the top. So there's a lot of character in these shirts. Now, they're also $46 for a two pack. That's a lot for a t-shirt. Um, the brand, by the way, is Parking Irons. Um, I actually have large as my order, and so I got a large uh, originally, and this is what the large is. And what you can't probably see is that it comes up really short for a large, right? So with this brand, if you're gonna buy these shirts, like you really like the style, it makes you look good and fit, um, definitely go a size bigger if you're taller. Like if you're above six feet, you need to go a size bigger just because otherwise the length isn't gonna be good enough. Um, so that's the only downside is I'm a large normally, but on things that are this fitted, they tend to not be long enough, right? Um, I have that with bicycling jerseys as well that I have to get an extra large because it's the only way I get long enough on the size. Um, that's it. Um, oh, what do I think of the product? It's, it's comfy. It's a really soft shirt. I like the extra styling. I wouldn't spend $23 each for more of them, um, which I guess is the true question. Um, but I like what they're trying to do with it. The reason I have extra shirts uh, is because, well, thanks to doing these videos, I actually won the random sweepstakes contest for doing videos and photos. So they sent me a bunch of free stuff. So that's how I got this and this and this. I'm going to run out of hands here and this and this and two more shirts. Um, so I got to show you some extra stuff and um, thank you. I hope you're enjoying these. Um, the next one will be coming up really soon. As soon as I get the next box in, probably in the next couple of days, uh, probably next week I'll get a video out and we'll talk about September's birch box. For now, this was August birch box with the barking iron shirt, with the shaving cream, soap, yay, soap and the hair thinning gel. Overall rating, uh, once again, seven out of 10. Uh, they dropped the gadgets for, for a little bit. They put in shirts. Um, yeah, since their gadgets have been sucking, it's not a bad decision. Um, great, well, my name is Mario. Thanks so much and see you in a few days for the September Birch Box.